this looks a lot like the brake failure. Saw no skid marks going down in there. This is a tire barrier. You can see there's a guardrail there. You see Denny inside the car. And the safety workers there attending to him. Very high speed getting into turn one. We're counting on that brake pedal to be there. It's yes. not. Yeah. And there's just nothing you can do. There's no way you can't turn the car. You can't turn it off. You can't do anything that's really going to slow the car down enough at that point in time. Kind of similar to what Brad Keselowski's car looked like from Road Atlanta when he had that accident. Yeah. yeah uh, and Danny climbing from the car. See. Man. A testament to the safety of these vehicles and to the. He's out. This young man works hard in the gym on his physical conditioning, and I think that has a lot to do with it, too. Two words here. Watch this. Yeah, it looks like it's... He's got he's some got, brakes. The front brakes are... The left front's locked up. That's almost like the throttle hung. Gosh, man, that could have been. It could have been the throttle hung pushing the front tire. Man. Look at how much it moved that guardrail, even through yeah, the tire barrier. You can see the smoke from the front tires, like he's trying to get this car stopped, and maybe the throttle is hung partially. Man. Yeah, those rear tires are still going hard. Yeah. Oh. Terrible crash there for Denny Hamlin. Fortunately, he climbed from the car and did walk away. Glenn International and what has been a very difficult weekend for Denny Hamlin. This was in qualifying. Out of turn five. Lost track. And that said, he had a very fast race car. And just moments ago. A brutal hit in turn number one. Denny climbing from the car. And going and back and looking at some smaller details of this, watch the shape of the guardrail after the hit and watch where he hit and what's behind the guardrail. Now one of the posts there is going to be, you see the concrete is there holding that fence. He could have hit in between there and possibly softened that blow just a little bit. But I can assure you, folks, there is not a worse feeling as a driver when that throttle hangs and you have nowhere to go. Just glad to see Denny walk away. Kind of, kind of what we think it looked like was yes. Yeah, the reason, you say, and the reason you say that is you see the front tires locked up, the rear tires are still driving. And as hard as he would be pushing that pedal, as hard as you can push it, you can't hardly stop the rear wheels if you have power on them. And uh, we obviously will effort an interview with Denny Hamlin after he is released by the medical officials. Hamlin to the garage. And Denny Hamlin has been released from the care center, Dave. He walked under his own power. Alan, Denny, how are you feeling? Um, I feel you know, better than I thought I would. I mean, I, it felt like it was a slow motion for me, but uh, can't say enough for all the safety precautions NASCAR takes. And obviously the, the wall helped a lot. Uh, getting that uh, dampered the hit a little bit, but uh, really encourage all these drivers to go save seven point uh, safety belts. Uh, I had those and it just, uh, it really softened uh, the, the blow quite a bit. Uh, a lot of these guys run five point and it's, it's just not enough. So um, that's a testament to, to all the safety stuff we have. We saw the rear wheels sprinting, the, the front wheels locked up. Do you think the throttle hung? No, uh, throttle didn't hang. Uh, it, something blew out in the left front, uh, and uh, when it did, um, it, it must have cut a brake line, so I had no brakes, and and so I, I was trying to do everything I could to weave or anything I could to get the speed out of the car, and just there's nothing you can do. Front tire's locked up and uh, can't steer, but it's a shame. Our FedEx uh, ground Toyota was uh, really good all day, and just we're having we're going to be right there about fourth or fifth in line on this restart, but uh, wasn't meant to be today. He drove from 42nd to 12th, and his day ended with that, Alan. Glad he's okay.